Hey y'all, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome smoking cauldron. Yes, the cauldron smokes. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, let us get started. This is going to be one of those videos that's probably going to be a little bit difficult to see right here in the beginning. But anyway, what you're going to need is a plastic cauldron. You can get these pretty much anywhere. Party City, Target should be putting their stuff out anytime now. My Target don't have theirs out. Um, Dollar Tree has these. This is just one that I had in my stash, okay? So I don't know exactly where it came from. But anyway, I like the handle here, and I want the handle to be on the front of mine, okay? So this is going to be the front. Let's turn it around to the back, wherever you want the back to be. And then you're going to cut a hole because we have to feed the cord of our diffuser through the side of the cauldron, okay? So I have this, this craft knife here. And I'm just going to cut a hole. You can use scissors. You can use a wood burning tool. You can use a, a drill. You can chew through it. <laughs> just whatever you need to do to get a hole in this thing, okay? So I'm just going to take my time and carefully, carefully cut out a hole. Okay, now that I have sort of a hole cut here, th this one is very thick. But if you get them from the Dollar Tree, it's going to be a lot easier to cut the hole in, okay? But anyway, I have this big container of clear plastic ornaments. This came from Hobby Lobby. It was on sale. I didn't pay $19 for it, but it was on sale. These, uh, does it have a size on here? Yes, 2.65 inches. And of course, it all depends on the size of your cauldron, but let's get these open. Okay, so this is what they look like. I'm going to pop the end off here. We're not gonna need that, okay? Now, I have a little bit of polyester fiber fill here. You know what you use for stuffed animals. And I'm going to put just a tiny little bit inside each ornament because I want it to be sort of like wispy and smoky looking. Now, they did have some iridescent ornaments, um, but they did not have them in the size that I wanted. So I had to get these. Uh, let me get some here. I just have a dowel rod here. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke just a little bit of this down in there. And you saw I kind of fluffed it out as best I could. It's just, just going to add a little bit of something, like I said, to make it look just, just a little smoky-like. So I, let me do this to this other one. And then we're going to start making a topper for our cauldron here. Because this cauldron, we're going to be putting an oil diffuser down in there. And I don't want to be able to look down through there and, and see it. So that's why I'm kind of making these a little, little wispy looking. You're still going to be able to see the lights and everything that we're going to put in there. But, you know, just, just gives it a different effect. All right, so let's get this out of the way. My glue gun should be heated up here. So let's, I'm going to start, let's start on the back here. Now, what we're doing with these is we're sort of making a topper for our cauldron. You don't want to glue these down because if you glue them down, then you can't get your diffuser out later, okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to glue the balls together. I know, I know, we're gluing our balls together. You're just going to glue the balls together, but you want to make sure that this first round touches the rim here, okay? Because that's what's going to hold it up. So we're just going to glue that together and I'm going to hold these in place until that glue sets up. Okay, so these two are glued together. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to keep gluing these ornaments to each other and you see you just have to hold them up here on the edge of your cauldron just to make sure that it still rests on that lip, okay? Because like I said, you don't want to glue these down because you can't get your diffuser out. So we have to just keep it right here on this edge. Now I'm just going to keep gluing these together until I make a ring that will fit on top of our cauldron here. Okay, just work on that and I'll be back. Okay, so this is what we have so far and it fits perfectly on top of my cauldron. Like I said it depends on how big your cauldron is as to how many ornaments you need. But I think I'm probably going to use the majority of what's in this container. So I am just going to stuff some more of this down in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put on a second layer. And I meant to mention this a while ago that when you are gluing these together, depending on, you know, the brand and all, these are relatively thin. You're probably going to want to use a low temp glue gun. Now mine is one of those that can be either high or low. 
I have mine set to low, all right? With the high, you run a risk of melting these, like I said, depending on the brand and where you get them. But anyway, now I'm just going to make a second layer here, but I'm going to bring it in just a little bit, okay? And this is kind of, can be a little tedious. You just have to glue them down like that and then just hold it in place, each one, until that glue sets up, okay? So uh, I have a gap here, but it's okay. Listen, I will show you what we're about to do. Be careful because this glue is not totally set up yet. So now we have the topper basically constructed for our cauldron. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking some of this fluff here and I'm just kind of just sticking it, you know, here and there, here and there, you know, just to, to look like smoke, <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil and trouble and all that happiness. So yeah, I'm just going to tuck it down every now and again just to fill in the empty spaces. Okay, so now what I'm doing, I've got it all tucked down, like all in little crevices and everything. So now I'm just taking some, and you see like where the ornaments come together. I'm just kind of just tucking some down in there, okay? Like I said, just to kind of look like mist or smoke. Okay. I'm just gonna do that all the way around here. And then we'll get the rest of our cauldron set up. Now, what I originally wanted to do, I'll go over that while I'm doing this. What I originally wanted to do is take a piece of cardboard and lay that on top of the cauldron and trim out the shape of the rim. And then I was going to glue the ornaments to that, but I'm out of cardboard. I've got just a few tiny little scraps. I didn't have a piece big enough to do that with. So that's an option. It would be a lot easier, you know, than just trying to glue your ornaments into a circle. So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. And next time I want to keep in mind to make sure that I've got cardboard, which I should have stopped at the store and bought a box or something to use, but I'm tired. But anyway, I'm just going to glue these little, you see these little fluffies here. I'm just going to glue those there and come back. All right, y'all, listen. My neighbor just came home from work and I asked her, I said, you don't happen to have a piece of cardboard, do you? And she's got a piece. So let me show you what I was talking about. So here's our cardboard and here is our cauldron. So I'm going to flip it up. So, oh gosh, this thing is dirty. It has been in storage. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna flip it upside down on this cardboard and I'm going to trace a circle all the way around. And then I'm gonna cut that circle out. Now what we need to do is cut like so, you know, just during, cause this has to rest. I know this does not have to be perfect. This has to rest like on the rim of our cauldron. And then our topper is gonna go on this. I really wish I would have had this when my video started because I know, I know I hate when things don't go to plan. But anyway, now I'm going to cut this out. Now we have our cardboard ring here and I want to glue this to the bottom of our topper. I said, I, I really wish that this would have happened a while ago because I know this video is going to be a hot mess, but you know, this is real life. This is not a TV show. This is just me in my craft room. So now I'm going to glue this to the bottom and I'm going to let that set up and then we can take some more of our fluff and just go in the crevices here and fill those in. Okay, I feel better with this. Now, why did I want to use cardboard? It just makes it sturdier, okay? So that you have a sturdier base. So when you just pick your topper up, you don't have to worry about the ornaments falling apart. Um, so anyway, this is my diffuser here. Now, I wanted to utilize the fact that my diffuser changes colors. If your diffuser does not change colors, you could take Halloween lights, Christmas lights, we have those, and put that inside your cauldron and it will shine through the little bubbles here. But I wanted to utilize the fact that my diffuser changes colors, okay? I wanted that to, you know, really shine through. So let's get this out of the way. Now, my cauldron is pretty deep and my diffuser is kind of small. So here in a second, I'm going to be putting some wooden blocks down in there. I do not recommend putting anything soft or squishy in there. This is, uh, you know, a device that is being plugged in. So I'm just going to 
Now I got the fuzzies from the stuffing. I'm just gonna take this cord and run it through the hole. Okay, so now let's plug this back in. I've already got water in this little diffuser here. Now my small one is a little too short for this, but my big one was too tall. So, you know, it's, it's one of those things. But anyway, like I said, I'm just gonna put some of these blocks down in there. You do whatever you need to do to make yours sturdy. <laughs> We're gonna set this here. And like I said, mine changes color. So let's pull this out. And then I'm gonna plug it in and I'm gonna set the topper on top and then we'll turn it on. And it's gonna be hard to see the smoke here, okay? It's gonna be difficult to see the smoke on this because I got fans going in here and it's probably gonna blow it around. And anyway, you know the smoke coming out of a diffuser isn't heavy smoke. But anyway, let me put the topper on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, this is the top of it. Can you see it? Can you see the smoke coming out? And then of course there is the diffuser in there changing color. I'll just hold it here for a second so that you can see that. It's like blue and then it goes into purple. All right, now let's get a shot of it. I just turned out the big light. Still got my little light on over there. Now anyway, let's take a look at it like this. I hope you like it. I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out, even though the video was a little messed up. But um, I hope that you like it. So if you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.